Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. In this video I want to show you how to make custom YouTube thumbnails in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and bring up Adobe Photoshop 2020. Now what you want to do is I'll show you like the uh, behind the scenes of how I edited these two thumbnails. This video has over 1,000 views. This video has over 800 views. So it goes to show that these really cool custom YouTube thumbnails really do work. So what you want to go ahead and do is after you've opened up Photoshop, you want to go over here to create new. After you go ahead and click on create new, you want to make sure you have a custom thumbnail. So YouTube's thumbnail is 1280 by 720. That's what I always use and as far as I know it works perfectly fine. So if you know a different way, definitely go ahead and comment it down below. But all you have to do is here is just change the width and change the height, 1280 by 720. Once you create the dimensions, once the dimensions are all custom, go ahead and head over to create. Now here's the entire template and here's what Photoshop looks like. The first impressions of Photoshop is oh my word, this looks incredibly advanced. And it is very advanced, it took me a very long time to uh, finally get this right. So let's go ahead and bring it up. And this is just how I import uh, my photos. It can be uh, different for you. But this is what I do. I'm going to use this thumbnail, which is an old thumbnail. Like, uh, I think like two, three months ago I made this video. And this video actually has over like two, uh, 3,000, 2,000 views. So apparently people really enjoyed uh, this thumbnail. So once you have the thumbnail dragged in and imported, go ahead and just click the little check mark right here. And there you go. Now it's complete. Now this is what your YouTube thumbnail looks like. Now, if you wanted to, let's say your image isn't like this is already like in the correct dimensions. But let's say your image isn't in isn't in the correct dimensions. Just put it put it in the correct dimensions, and you can go ahead and I believe it's on file, and then you can go ahead and yeah, just export it, export it if you want to just do it right there. But I'm not gonna. I want to show you some more advanced features uh, in Photoshop. Now what you want to do is you want to go over to this section over here. Go ahead and just right click on it. And what you want to do is head over to the object selection tool. Now this is more of a beginner intermediate uh, lesson on Photoshop. So I'm not using like the lasso tool because I'm not even remotely good at like cutting things out. And it, it, it just, I'm just not as precise as some people. So this is just how to do it if you're not a super precise. I'm just like a very like shaky person. So I would like a tool that helped me. So what you want to do is actually you know what I'll go ahead and if you make a mistake, just go ahead and press command Z. I'm using a uh, Mac. What you want to do is you kind of want to find a good place where you want to start cutting it out. And what you want to do is just put the object selection tool pretty much right where you want it to be. And it is in no way going to be remotely perfect. Now, as you can see, it actually did a, it actually did a pretty good job. Now, it also depends on like what you're trying to actually uh, cut out. So let's go ahead and press command plus to go ahead and just zoom in into the image and you can see you can get as close as you want to I believe now yeah, you can you can get really really close but I'm not gonna get super uh, close now what you want to do is you want to go over to the object selection tool once you're in the object selection tool what you want to do is go over to the plus thing or the minus thing uh, depending on what you're trying to do so what you want to do is just press on the plus thing and then hover your cursor uh, your arrow over or your mouse over to where you want to start click on it and then just start dragging it as you can see I have my mouse I'm holding my mouse down and I'm just dragging it again Photoshop does its best to um, try to make a rough estimate and in no way the final edit of this is gonna be like perfect there's gonna be like sharp edges because it legitimately could probably it takes me like hours to actually get this perfect and I don't think you want to sit through two and a half hour tutorial on uh, Photoshop. I'll basically just give you like a rough cut and then I'll show you a couple instances where like if something goes wrong, how to go about fixing it. So what I like to do is I like to uh, like start on the edge, hold my mouse down and just drag it and let Photoshop, the, the something like this is hard because look, see, because it's like the, um, the phone is black and the background's like dark gray. So what you always want to do is you want to keep in mind, as you can see, this is nowhere near perfect. But what you want to do is you want, especially when you're taking a thumbnail, you want to be very, very aware of the fact that if you're doing an auto tool, you want to make sure that, let's say you're taking a picture of like a, uh, you're holding a white box. You probably don't want to be sitting next to a white wall because 
most likely Photoshop is in no way going to become even close uh, to trying to auto that and you're gonna have to probably use the uh, lasso tool or go through it and do this so as you can see Photoshop honestly does a pretty good job now I should honestly probably be more zoomed in and I can already probably see a couple mistakes that I'm gonna have to go back and fix um, but that's good because I want to show you what happens when you make some mistakes see, obviously it's not that perfect but Especially if you're not zoomed into the image, it's very unlikely you're actually going to see. See like this, even for me personally, this is like really, really difficult uh, to see like where the actual outline is, which, may, which means it's going to be, it's, for Photoshop, it's going to be 20 times more difficult than, if I can barely see it, Photoshop, even that, like see, you can see Photoshop is doing a pretty good job of cutting the image out, but for the most part, it's, it is definitely really struggling because you got like this like um, orange outline for my lights, but other than that, it really isn't like that, it's just very difficult. I can already see a couple mistakes probably about here. I'll go ahead and fix it. Uh, later on so as you can see and again it all depends on what you're trying to cut out because most likely I'll probably actually leave that in it's it just it, it's all a personal preference you may not even want the chair in. I'm putting the chair in because I think just taking me out will look uh, incredibly weird as you can see I'm just on the entire time I'm holding down uh, the left side of my mouse you never want to let go of your mouse so go ahead and just press command minus basic Mac commands basic as you can see overall it did a really good job of cutting the entire image out there's a couple parts here and this part is going to be a problem so what you want to do is you want to zoom in here now because I used the plus tool this should work if it doesn't work I'll switch back and, and more importantly if you're watching this and you're like a Photoshop Pro you've been using this for a long time and you know a better way to do this please comment it down below because I honestly cannot figure out a better way to do this so let's say you're using the plus tool to, to uh, fill in like the areas you missed go ahead and select the opposite tool and then hold down the mouse and as you can see you're starting to get rid of it and as you can see it doesn't look like it's going to work so let's go ahead and just press the plus tool and as you can see look I'm holding down on it I'm getting I'm holding down on it and then just dragging around it because what's gonna happen is if you start putting that like white outline around um, it's it's I'll, I'll show you what happens because most likely there's probably a couple instances where I made a mistake but you want to get rid of that you, you basically what you do is you, if you have a, if that situation arises switch between the plus and minus quick selection and just figure out which one works again if you have a better way of doing it please comment down below I honestly cannot think of a better way to do this so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click on the image and click layer via copy once you have layer via copy, what you want to do is go over to layer, go ahead and go over to new fill layer, solid color. Once you're in solid color, go ahead and just pick whatever color you want. That could be red. So there you go. So that's the red layer. Now over here, you want to take the color fill layer and drag it underneath the cutout image. Now, as you can see, Honestly, if this was a very beginner or intermediate thumbnail, it actually is not that bad. So there you go, the image is all cut out. To break it down, the top layer is me cut out. The next layer is the fill layer, um, the color fill layer, and the next one, this one right here, is the original image. So you gotta just make sure when you're thinking through all that, it just it's a very it's a very like logical process. Now, what you can also do here, now you can also click if you want to the this color layer, go ahead and click on the opacity. And as you can see, well, that lagged out a little bit. But there you go. See that? That's how you get those cool color thumbnails in Photoshop. I'll just go ahead and press Command Z because most likely I'm gonna have to change a couple of things. So what you want to do is you want to go over to Layer. Right-click on Layer and head over to Blending Options. Once you're in Blending Options, here's where you got a whole bunch of cool things to do. Now, most likely what I like to do is I like to click Drop Shadow, Outer Glow, and then Stroke. Look at that. That's how you get. That's not what you want to do. Is you want to uh, tune that down because that's really, um, really, really thick. So as you can see, now here's what it looks like. Now as you can see, it looks it looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just select on the opacity. It's I, I'm well well aware it's messed up, but as you can see, that's how you go about uh, editing that entire. Uh, thumbnail so that, that's pretty easy so now you say well wait a minute you've got some white things here you've got some white parses here you get some white pieces here you got some white pieces here and some white pieces here 
So you say, oh, how do I fix that? I can also see another mistake here. Now here's where just it just takes a very, very long time. And I'll try to do as much as, as best as I can. What you wanna do is you wanna head over to Command Z. So let's say for example, I'm not gonna fix the entire thing because this could legitimately, because I'm gonna have to probably go back and forth and it could take over an hour to fix this. But let's say, I want to fix like this neck area so what I like to do a lot of times I'm not going to do now is I'll take like a photo with my uh, phone of the entire image of where the mistakes are then I'll go back and try to fix it what you want to do is you just want to press command Z so go ahead and just press command Z and as you can see you can't really see it here but what you want to do is you want to go to minus or plus mess with it okay so let's go to plus because minus didn't work and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go ahead and just hold down the mouse and just go like this and you'll start making it disappear again I don't know 100% where all the mistakes are but you want to just hold down the mouse drag it and go ahead and just drag it over the area where the, uh, the problem is and I believe there was something over here again it's all like in memory usually I'll take some kind of photo to remember exactly uh, where the mistakes are so let's go ahead and zoom out and redo it and see if that neck area, I believe it was neck area, it was something over here and it was something over here. So let's go ahead and remember, layer via copy, go ahead over to layer, you'll eventually get, I've done this so many times, it's like ingrained, in, I could probably do this if I really wanted to in like, like 30 seconds, I've done this so many times. So you bring the layer down, go ahead, right click, click on blending options, go over to strokes and look, there we go. Let's go ahead and exit out, and as you can see, look, the neck area is much better. Now there's still a little problem here, but there you go, see? That has disappeared, the neck area has disappeared, and that has disappeared, that looks a lot better. So let's go ahead, and maybe, maybe I'll just go ahead and fix it, fix it, so, uh, fix it a little bit better. So, right near the elbow and near the edge of the chair. Ready? Command Z, go ahead and then press Command uh, Plus. Go ahead and try to remember, um, where the problem is so I think it was it was right here so let's go ahead and just like I said before use the plus tool keep your mouse hold your mouse down and just drag it around because I'm not 100 percent sure where everything is so that should be good go ahead and just move over here and that was a little too fast I think Photoshop's lagging out on me a little bit so as you can see go over to plus and then you, you also don't want to go too close to the edge or else you're gonna start bringing it out but I think it was here again I don't know I don't have an image of what it actually looks like so let's just say I don't know I think it was somewhere let's just say it's somewhere here let's go ahead and check and this is kind of what you do you just keep doing this and this is why it takes hours to get this thumbnail right um, so let's go over here I just press layer via copy new fill layer solid color let's go ahead and pick red as you can see I like I can do this in my sleep go ahead head over here to blending options let's see if it worked and there you go now it's not a hundred percent perfect but there we go there's as you can see there's a little mistake uh, right over here we can fix we can fix it later if I want but I want to keep going back and forth so let's go ahead press on the color layer go to opacity and bring the opacity down and there we go that's a legit that like if you obviously if you fix a couple of things here and there um, it would look a lot better, but there you go. That's how you make a custom YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop, very easy. And you see every YouTuber, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, all the big YouTubers, vloggers, use this format, and that's how they go about actually doing it. One other thing that I wanna show you is, let's go ahead and press on text, let it load up. Go ahead and hold down the left side of your mouse. Go ahead and drag it right here. I'll just show you kind of how to do it. Let's just say, click on it. That's a lot of text. So let's go ahead and just press uh, Josh. Let's say I want it. I mean, you can you can change a whole bunch of different things with the text. And let's say I want the text um, behind me. I believe you just want to drag it. You don't want to drag it. Uh, uh, you want to drag it in between the color layer and you. So you you have to think of it's four different layers. The the background layer then the color layer, then the text layer, and then your actual cutout layer. Now all you gotta do is go ahead, press on text, press the select tool, and you can just go ahead and drag the text, and that's how you get the text to go behind you. 
again this is not perfect and the text is not perfect but that is just how you would go about editing a thumbnail for photoshop that's how all these youtubers edit these really cool flashy thumbnails so let's go ahead and just exit out of this i'll just go ahead and just uh save it i'll just i'll just i'll just let's just say I'll just, I'll just save it to my uh computer so i'll just say image i think that's how you spell image if it's not correct i'm not sure but let's see go ahead and press save and let's just press ok and there we go the image has been saved i want to go ahead and just bring up this and as you can see how it works the cutout layer the background layer and then the actual like the original layer so that's how you edit a thumbnail in photoshop let's go ahead and drag it back open this one back and there you go not perfect obviously you could you could mess with the text and fix a couple of the strokes here and there but that is how you go about this is what the, th the photo uh, photoshop layer looks like go ahead and start back at the beginning if you want to if you miss something or something like that hopefully you really enjoyed this video Make sure to hit that subscribe button, giving away Google, Google Home Mini at 1,000 subscribers. Subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciated. See you guys in the next one. Peace.